I'm Dave Ford and I'm going to show a few simple things that we can do with Microsoft Excel to make it a more user-friendly uh, tool when used with learners. Now what I've got here is a very simple sheet which is uh, where students can enter uh, the weight of somebody, the height of somebody and we'll then find out what their body mass index is in the right hand column. Now at the moment it looks a bit untidy, it's a bit messy, it's not very user-friendly, it's not very easy for somebody to work their way around it um, and that like. So I'm just trying to show how we can quickly and easily sort of tidy the sheet up and make it a little bit better. Now first of all I'm just going to put a few numbers in just so that we can see what will happen. So I'm going to put in a weight of 70 kilograms and a height of 1.8 and it gives us a body mass index. Now the first problem here is it's given us a body mass index with five decimal points. That's not really very user friendly. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight the cells and there's different ways of doing it but here I've got the options of either increasing the number of decimals or decreasing them. So I can just drop that down to one decimal place, which is a bit more useful. The next thing to note is that I've got a division by naught error, which looks a bit messy and it's not really required. So there's different ways of doing it. I personally just use if statements. So I'm going to type in here, equals if, and then I'm going to put that is anything other than nothing, then we carry out the formula. If it's not got anything in it, oops, sorry. then we just record nothing. So basically that little if statement there, and I'm going to copy it down, you'll see that it will blank the cells and then it will only do something if we put something into this cell here. Now we'll still the div divide by naught, but as soon as I put another number in, then that will go away. The next thing we're going to do is uh, make it clearer for the learners to know which cells they need to enter data into. So I'm just going to click on these cells here, and I'm going to shade them in. So using the colouring thing, I'm going to, let's go for, um, I tend to use a, a creamy colour, and I'll just use that as a standard, so that I'm consistent throughout, and then people know that that's the area where they're going to put their data. What I'm going to then do is highlight that same region again and I'm going to right click and go to format cells I'm going to go to protection and I'm going to tick on the thing to unlock those cells and what's going to happen later on is I'm going to protect the sheet and when I protect the sheet they'll be the only cells that we can enter data into I'm going to highlight the columns and I'm going to centre the data that makes it a little bit cleaner and neater and then I'm going to go to the Excel options. So I go to the win Windows button, Excel options. And if I go to Advanced, then what I'm going to do here is if I scroll down, I've got an option. I'm going to get rid of the sheet tabs because I don't need them. It's a single sheet document. I'm going to get rid of the row and column headers. And I'm going to get rid of the grid lines. And I'll click on OK. And now it looks a lot cleaner than it was before. What I'm then going to do is go to the Review tab. I'm going to click on Protect Sheet. It now gives me a series of options. Now I'm going to get rid of the top one, and the only one that I'm going to have is the option that says Select Unlocked Cells. So I'll scroll down, all the others are unticked. I could put a password in, but I don't have to. I'm going to leave it blank, and then it's dead easy for me to unprotect it later. And I click on OK. Now what I've done there, by protecting the sheet and only allowing me to select the cells, is the only ones I can select are those that I've unlocked earlier. And by doing that, it means that I can use my tab key to move around to enter the data. So it's much easier to enter the data and uh, just by using the tab key. So very simple little techniques there to take what was before a slightly messy, slightly ugly looking document into something that looks a lot cleaner, more professional, much neater and easier for the learners to use.